the way around the lens goes in the machine is with the curved side up and the flat side down towards the work. In this video, I will attempt to give a basic explanation of the plano convex lens that is commonly found in most CO2 laser cutters. The plano convex lens describes a lens with a convex top and a flat bottom. When I go out on service and repair visits, I often find the lens is housed upside down with the flat side up and the curved side downwards. And many customers intuit that this is the correct way around to put the lens. First of all, um, you can find your lens in housing something like these. And it's usually held in place by a retaining washer, which can be removed. usually by unscrewing it. And there may also be a small silicone washer cushioning the lens in place. And the way around the lens goes in the machine is with the curved side up and the flat side down towards the work. Now lots of people on laser cutter forums and elsewhere on the internet have um, strong opinions that the lens should go the other way with the flat side upwards and the curved side downwards and uh, The lens will more or less work either way up but I'm going to give you a very quick illustration of why it should go in curved side up Now this is a very crude acrylic approximation of a plano convex lens. It's exaggerated. We've got the curved top and the flat bottom and it comes from an um, educational optical toy science kit. And in addition to the lens, I also have a straight line laser beam generator that's capable of generating three laser beams outputting straight lines in a row just like that. So. What we're going to do is we're going to set this up above the lens. Now, I want you to imagine that this is a cross section of the lens and these two lines are cross section of the laser beam as it comes out of the glass CO2 laser. Um, in point of fact, the laser beam is like a tube as it comes out of the CO2 uh, glass laser tube. Uh, rather than being a single spot and that's why sometimes when you shoot the laser um, with a very low power you may get a ring of laser light ahead of the lens uh, uh, a ring shaped burn ahead of the lens rather than a single spot so we'll place the plano convex lens in the path of the twin laser beams and then when we switch them on we can see quite clearly that below the lens the beams converge. Let's just drop the light down a little there to see it better. I can further illustrate this if we fire all three lasers into the lens at the same time. We get a very clear focal point where all the beams meet and if this were a real laser this would be where the cutting work and the engraving work happens. So what happens if we flip this lens around? Okay, so we now have it with the flat side up and the curved side downwards. And we'll put the beam on. As you can see, once we've put all three laser lights on, we're losing a lot of the beam path below the lens. Just turn the lights right down so you can see what that looks like. If we reduce it to two, then we get a slight convergence below the lens. But if I flip that over, you can see that's much stronger and clearer, and also that the focal point is a little bit higher up. 
Now that distance between the lens and the work is crucial on, uh, on a laser cutter. Hello, I'm Dominic and welcome to the Smoke and Mirrors YouTube channel. We also have an online store selling mirrors, lenses and CO2 laser tubes and many other useful items for maintaining your laser cutter. We provide call out, especially in the Midlands area of the UK, for installation, repair, servicing and training. In addition, visit our website at smokeandmirrors.store and seek out and click on the community link to find our free online laser cutter help and advice forum. If there's a topic on laser cutter support you'd like me to cover on the channel, then do leave a comment below.